From the Fox 29 studios, this is Good Day Philadelphia. Well, tis the season to buy and sell a house. And one HGTV alum does it better than most. Her name is Shay, and she's considered a Texas hotshot, and she's here to help. So Jen is with her right now in Collegeville. Hey, Jen. Hey, Shay. It makes perfect. Hey, Alex. You know this makes perfect sense because you're from Dallas. You're from Austin. Good morning. Yes, good morning. All right. Well, thank you so much. Okay, so everyone is saying, I want to buy, I want to sell. Yep. And you say there's a couple things we need to look at. Yes. One of the things you like about this house is surrounding us. What is yes. it? So it's all the greenery. Um, I think sometimes people forget that front doors can look a little bit of bland when you don't have color in it. So I always tell my clients, bring a couple different plants in. Colors are super important. I love yellows, I love pinks, I love blues, anything that's gonna give it a little bit of a pop, just because it shows some personality and it's really the first impression people get. So this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. Okay, yeah. one thing is you say having the screens in is bad. You want those screens out. Yes, the so screens are so practical for living in a home. They, they keep the sun out, they block UV rays. However, when you are selling, it blocks a lot of that natural light that people are specifically looking for. So mm -hmm. I always tell my clients, pull the screens out, that way you can get as much natural light as possible in. Even though this looks perfect, there's something here that you would fix and it's right below us. Yes, I would power wash this ground. Okay. There's nothing wrong with it. It just gets dirty and again, your front door is your first impression, so it's so important for it to look perfect. Okay, as we go in, um, people know the idea of staging, right? Yes. But they really don't know exactly what you're talking about. You say that a home ideally should look 60% lived in. What does yes. that mean? So you want to have a home that looks lived in. You want to create a picture and an idea for the people who are going to be looking at the home to buy it. However, you want to leave room for their personality to come in. So for me, I would recommend removing some of the bunny trinkets, maybe getting rid of a little bit of the pottery. Okay. Again, just because you don't want it to feel too much, just a little bit. Okay, um, you know how this works. Yesterday I talked to the producers and we were going over some of your tips. Mm -hmm. The number one tip that they liked had to do with smell. So mm -hmm. what are we talking about here? Yeah, so it's super important when you're selling your home to have an even smell throughout. You know, your kitchen can smell a little bit different than your bathroom and your living room. I always recommend, recommend to my clients, put out just a little bit of baking soda in a bowl, maybe like fill it Hi, an inch or two, <laughs> <laughs> kitty, uh, and leave it out for a couple days. What that does is it removes the smell from the room and it neutralizes it. Now, if you want a little bit of a positive smell, you can always add a little bit of essential oils to it. So, okay, I've heard this that you're supposed to like bake a bread or something. You don't agree with that, right? You can. I, I think it feels a little bit staged. So it almost feels like you're trying to cover something up. So that's why I always say neutralize the rooms and then you can add a little bit of smell back. Okay. And then if you have grout out front, that's what this is for. Instead, we would power wash theirs. So I would power wash out there. This is specifically for grout in things like your kitchen and your baths. There's different little DIY formulas you can use. My favorite is just combining, again, use your baking soda, bleach, and then hydrogen peroxide, combine them in a bowl, create a paste, leave it on there for 10 minutes, and then use your scrub brush just to scrub it off and get it clean and nice and white again. I love it. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. There are people that wanna hear about your renovation tips mm -hmm. that are easy, that maybe aren't selling their home. So you have stuff for like mm -hmm. selling your home, sprucing up your home, just making everything feel better, yes? yes. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do in the eight and nine o'clock hours, guys. If you have questions for Shay, you can hit me up on my Twitter, her Twitter, all the different things, and um, we're happy to have you here from Austin. Thank you for having me. Um, Pretty cool, right? I like the smell thing. I think I think a lot of people would agree with that. Yeah, I think so too. And I think the cat does too. See, the cat just hopped up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. So weigh in and send them some questions. Okay, listen to this. We were promised sticky things being stuck in sticky areas. So let's do it. Hello? Yeah. All right. I think it's time. Okay, so Shay is here. What? Come on. Okay, Shay Mills, Shay is here. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, what you do is you do home renovation. Yep. You're also a multi-million dollar realtor. Yes. And you also like to help people make their house look pretty. Yes, that's my passion project. Okay, so we talked about this. Like, you had a client recently. Mm -hmm. I don't hope you don't mind me sharing. Yeah. And they were trying to decide, do I do like a double oven or right. get really fancy backsplash? Right. And what did they go with? In the end, they ended up getting a fancy oven just because with home renovation, improvement it adds up so quickly compromises have to be made so we have seen removable wallpaper mm -hmm. in many different areas but I love what you have done so this is the yes. sticky part if you've been paying attention so this right here is something that you could do to a cabinet yes Peel and stick wallpaper, $29.99, some even as cheap as $15. Uh, you can put this almost anywhere. You can put it on your wall, you can put it on cabinets. This is one of my favorite projects. Why do you like putting it here? 
Because it's a nice way to give the room personality without having to re repaint the whole thing. Okay. So, like, one of my favorite places is a laundry room, a bathroom, a study room. And I have to say, the thing is, I like, this feels more manageable than doing a whole mm -hmm. sticky wallpaper project where you might not get it right. Yeah, it's a half a day project and all it takes is a ruler and a pair of scissors. Okay, this is a showstopper. This shay is, it's I my think, favorite. this is your best tip yep. of the day. So this is what we're talking about. So this is vinyl backsplash? Yep. So okay. it's, it, it feels like a sticker. Look at how flimsy this is, right? Yeah. That's super easy. You can cut it with a scissor. Look at how it looks when it's actually installed on a wall, on a cabinet, anywhere you want to put it. And look how easy this stuff goes on. You just peel it. Okay. And you stick it. Look how easy this is. This is amazing. You just line it right up. Oops. There you go. Oops. And you found this where? You can get this on Amazon. You can, you can find it on Amazon. You can get it on Google. There's so many different places to get it. This stuff is cheap. It comes, you get 10 sheets for about 20 bucks. Okay, wait. So this would go... Yep. Like... We've got a wall behind us. Anyway, look at this. This is an actual. This is a gorgeous countertop. This right. was big money. Look at how nice this looks against it. This is cheap. And um, you have installed this. Mm -hmm. Does it stay this shiny? Yes, it does. And what's nice is you can just wipe it down with a little bit of water on a washcloth or a paper towel. And so as we show what's behind it, we would put it like right there where you might have an open space in a home office or... Yep, home office, a laundry room, or even a ba like a bathroom behind a mirror. You can do a one accent wall. Stuff is super easy. It takes one day to install and you can peel it right off when you're done. When you first saw this, did you think it would look this good? No. In fact, <laughs> when I saw it on Amazon, I ordered a ton of it just because I said, this is amazing. But then I thought... How is this going to look? I, I opened it and I said, what? This looks so weird. Look at how it is on. I love it's it. It's my favorite product. I and use it everywhere. So if we would do it here, you would say, line it up with the cabinet. Yep. Make sure you can still see this. Yeah. So what I would say, I actually typically say go to your outermost point. So if your countertop hangs over a little bit more, go to the outside of that. Okay. Go straight up and then just line it up. I love that. And mm -hmm. then again, when it peels off, there's no, there's, the pain is not damaged. Nope. Nope, comes right off. Same with the wallpaper. Both of these products, easy to install and easy to take off. And then when you go into a million dollar listing or mm -hmm. a million dollar home, can you tell that it's sticky stuff? I mean, I can because I install this stuff all the time, but if this is in a laundry room or an office, no. All you see is this herringbone pattern, and it looks just like the marble. And the cool thing is it's, you know, it's a neutral, so mm -hmm. it's not annoying to anyone. No, and it comes in so many different shapes and sizes, too. You can go, you know, you can get a Moroccan mosaic. You can even get subway tile. Which this is so trendy right now. Mm -hmm. But I think in five years, someone's going to see subway tile and think that's five years old. Maybe, but what's good is you can just peel it right off. I love it. Yep. All right, will you come back and visit us again? You bet, only if you'll have me. Oh, we will totally have you. Mike, seriously, is this not amazing? <laughs> I've, I, is this I've been, the coolest thing you've ever seen? I have said it maybe five times now. It looks real. I it know, does. It's so, like, I am totally, again, in a space like this, in a laundry room, yep. and then even Never Alex, know. I know, I think you live in an apartment. You could, like, take it out, put it in, make yep. it your own. That's one of the best places is apartment living because you don't want to yes. have holes to fill and all That's that so stuff. True. Just stick it on the wall. So true. All right. Now listen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm having a party tomorrow. Oh. Did you hear about this? I don't know if you heard. Yeah. The Alex birthday party continues. <laughs> Tomorrow's the first day of the, of the draft. And so we're going to open up the Independence Beer Garden right by the station, like at uh, Fifth Six. and Market, Six, yeah. in fine style. We're going to have some uh, draft picks, some okay. dudes and their families. Wow. Um, we're going to have cornhole because, yeah. They're starting a new thing where they'll have leagues there playing yeah, yeah. their, like, patio games, mm -hmm. um, food and drink, and everyone's invited, even Mike. Oh, that's weird. And um, you can Mike. stay, you I've can been come. banned for that so, place. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Mike. Thank you. You're allowed back in. Thank you, Jen. Um, but, yeah, we're going to have draft picks and fun and sticky wallpaper. Okay. <laughs> uh, that'll be fun. Now, again, we're going to open up early, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's under the Dow building at 6th and Market, basically. It's 6th between... Chestnut and Market. You can see the Liberty Bell from there. It's right. It's right on Independence Mall. It's Michael Shilson's place, and Nina, his mm -hmm. wife. Yeah, great place. That's where the party's gonna.